Raven Flower here and Katie Purry. Do you want to turn around? Do you want to look at this side? She's like, hello. <laughs> she won't get off the desk, so I'm just going to leave her. So I got my little Santa hat on. I've been wearing it at work. So I have tremendous hat hair. So, um, yeah, you're not going to see underneath this big mess. Um, my Yulmas cards came in today or yesterday. So I'm super excited about them. So I'm going to get these ready for family and um, some friends. I have to tone it down because I don't make the money I used to make. And so um, reality check in life. But what I love about it is that I got these um, holiday cards. I'm trying to find something that sort of fits Yule-miss for me. I call it Yule-miss because um, I grew up celebrating Christmas and now we celebrate Yule and but our kids also celebrate Christmas and for us as a family Yule-miss works for us. But I got these little cards and there's two little cardinals. I don't think you can see them very well because maybe I'll just open them up. How about you just open them up Raven? I'm gonna open them up gonna open them because I'm gonna work on them tonight so that's a thing okay open them up we have ooh, an envelope ooh, ah, okay oh that's why I couldn't see them because they have this fancy little paper on them yeah take it out okay so uh there's two little cardinals I thought it symbolized me and bear and all these like little glittery business going on there. Isn't that pretty? And what I liked about it, um, there are some beautiful cards that I had had last year that actually say Happy Yule on them and um, they were lovely. But I thought that this would be really good for um, those family members or those friends that don't really know that we're pagan, even though Bear is like, has always been just like 100% out. Um, there are still some of those that don't they know that we don't follow a Christian path, but they don't know that we do this. So I found this beautiful thing, and it's a very pagan for me, you know, with the you know the tree, you know, you all know, you all know, you all know. And this is like keeps coming in and out, very blurry. But it says, "May the beauty of nature fill your heart with peace and joy throughout the year." And I just thought that that was a wonderful sentiment. And then I have a little picture coming, and it's going to go there. Um, and it sort of just sort of matches, and it's all well, and it's good, and all that stuff. And it also has this patterning in the background there. And that is very pagan. If you start looking up symbols and things like that. So the Christians aren't really going to know what happened. I mean, come on, let's be honest. They adopted a pagan holiday and uh, call it Christmas. But, anyhow, so I wanted to show you my Christmas cards. I also have these other cards that are super cute. I thought they were cute, and somebody was giving them away at, at work because they had had them from last year, and I'm like, I'll take them. And, um, and it says, oh, Christmas tree. And certainly, bless you, bear. I liked that they're little, little um, envelopes. Come on, focus. The little envelopes had all of that on there. I thought that was super cute. I wonder if these would fit there. I don't think they will. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. No. Um, but then there's all of these little cards, and um, maybe some of them are a little cheesy, but I thought they were kind of nice, and I thought that I would just use them for like gifting stuff if I had extra stuff there's a sleigh we have a sleigh and a tree and little woodland critters this is like the world I live in right now look woodland critters looking in the window same card then just the tree itself and there's like little toys and things like that and there's like happy people out and about happy people out and about and then this one I've always loved I don't know who does this art I've always loved that scene with all of the creatures coming to the forest and the light and the tree and just lovely. And let's see if I can have some more in here. Christmas card business. This is super cute. A lot of the houses look like this around here. Some of the older homes. 
uh, especially downtown Langley, look a lot like this. Pretty neat. Like these wintry scenes. Here it is by the fire, and there's a little snowman peeking through there. I don't know if that's creepy or not creepy. Um, and then the traditional tree. And a poinsettia tree. And some wild and crazy tree. I'll send those to my Caribbean friends. They'll probably like that. And then just come on in. Have some tasty cider. That's what's going on there. So cute cards. I couldn't pass them up. Um, I always need some Christmas cards when I'm like given a loaf of bread that I've baked or something like that. I always need cards. So they were giving them away for free at work and I'm like, mine, mine, I'll take them, I'll take them. I need cards. How do you pass up free cards? You just can't. Okay. So those are those. And then I got some special cards for my um, close family, um, my mom, my, um, my mom, my sister, and my brother. I thought that this would be really cool. So um, this is by, what is it called? Love Pop. This is the Santa train. My um, adopted mom loves pop-up books. So every year I've been got I've, I've gotten her some sort of pop-up something so um this year is no exception and i think this little train moves i think it does does it move it does something does it santa move oh oh it, this little thing pulls out and you write something on the card that's what you do but isn't that cute little santa and his train choo 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 love it santa train so that is for mom or is it for brother i don't know um, maybe I got her, oh, I hope you look really good. Super cute one. Got this. I don't know who's getting what yet, so I can't even say right now. Then there's the snowman. Check this out. Isn't that cute? I love it. And his little parts are down there. They've got a scarf and some other stuff they're going to put on him. And his little hat's going on him. Super cute. These are not cheap, but with my discount at work, it was worth it. So I'm like, all right, that's probably how much a uh, fancy card would cost with the discount. So I, I'm like, well, let it be part of the gift, I guess. I don't know if I want to bore you with me putting these back into their sleeves, but whatever. There's that. Okay, and then there's one final one here. Santa sleigh! Ready? You ready? Pop, pop. Isn't this lovely? I think it's so cool. So there's the reindeer flying and Santa in his sleigh. Now, I don't know if you know this, but um, those that do believe in Santa, um, Santa is red and white. And I know this because I used to collect the memorabilia and I still have some stuff, but um, Santa, Santa the, red and, the red and the white thing, somewhere in the 1940s, I think it was like 1943, 1942, Coca-Cola was looking for an ad campaign. So they took Father Christmas, who was based off of Odin, and they... Um, removed the eye patch and you know then he became father christmas um for the germanic regions and things like that so then father christmas then became the santa the red and white santa that the commercial um realm now knows him as but basic santa is based off of odin believe it or not so you um that's some research that you probably would enjoy at this time of year a lot of people really hate this time of year. I don't know if you guys remember um, Lady Grave Dancer and I going live last year at this time, in fact. Um, around this time, we were talking about how much we loved this uh, time of year. It is a lot of work. I'm not going to lie. It is a lot of work. And it's a lot of planning. It's a lot of stress. It can be a lot of stress. 
um, if you allow it to be. Um, I'm very excited for us in our new life, you know, living a little bit more simply. Um, I'm, you know, a little sad that, you know, we don't have the space to have as many people at our home as maybe I would like, but I think that I have to sort of just get over myself in regards to that. But, you know, for 17 years, we had a great big, huge house and everybody was over at the house all the time. Um, my husband um, had a gaming group. He plays D&D, &D, Packmaster, you know, those um, RPGs. And, um, you know, we're building a group here um, to do that um, here at this home. And I'm excited about it um, because I'm getting to know some of the people at work that are choosing to be a part of this um, little gamer group. But it's also um, giving my husband a sense of normalcy because it's something that he's been doing since he was in high school. Um, it's not really my thing, but I'm willing to try. The last time I did this, I think I was in mom mode. So now I'm not in mom mode anymore. Um, so maybe I can actually enjoy it. So I'm excited about that. So you know, our small little home is going to start having people in it, um, this coming week. So, um, exciting for that. Yeah, go ahead. Walk all over my desk. Sure. Sure. Um, something else. Let's see. I wanted to talk about, oh, I, we are only going to have one kid join us for the holidays this year. I'm grateful for that, but I knew last year that um, we just weren't all going to be together. It was going to be a while before we were all together again. So um, uh, I'm just going to really look forward to February time frame when uh, I get, we get to go and spend, you know, about five days in San Antonio and visit the kids and all that other stuff. And then we jump on the cruise for the witchy meet and greet. And I'm super excited about that. So that's four days with friends and then five days with family. And it's just going to be great. Um, let's see. Something else I wanted to discuss was being on the island and living our lives out in the open. And I know that for family, um, you know, there are older members of my family that I have made the choice not to be in their face because I think in their, um, limited ability for empathy, limited empathy abilities, uh, they really feel that what they believe is right and I am wrong and they just sort of shove it down their th your throat and all this other stuff. Like it would just cause them a lot of grief um, to know that I'm a witch. It would really, it would cause them emotional pain. And even though they don't have the right to tell me what to believe or, um, you know, what to follow, they don't have that right. Um, it is really difficult um, for me to watch them go through that pain. My dad and um, his wife know I'm out. Um, I have, you know, cousins and aunts and uncles that know I'm out. I have... Um, you know, all of it, obviously my kids, a couple of them, um, one kid kind of sort of follows this path as well. And the others find it interesting. Um, but it's like, these are older people, older people. So, you know, they're in their eighties, they're in their mid eighties. And why am I going to cause them that Katie is just sort of in the shot? Go ahead, clean, clean yourself. I don't, I don't know what you're doing up there. Anyhow. I don't want to cause them emotional pain. So I choose to, at least for the holidays, that's when I really communicate with them. So I'm just not going to rock the boat. But here on the island, everybody at work knows that I'm, um, that Bear and I are pagan. Most of the people in the community know that we're pagan. Our neighbors across the way, um, you know, saw that we were putting stars on our house and they're like, hey, by the chance, are you a witch? And, you know, that kind of stuff. We had a whole conversation about it. So our across the street neighbors totally understand and get it and also follow similar belief systems, which is awesome. And, um, you know, most of the people in the community are just greeting each other. I have been told twice today by separate customers, twice 
happy winter solstice to you. And I'm like, happy solstice. You know, uh, Bear has been saying happy Yule to everybody. And the, the, the response, the response in Texas would be like, what? It's Christmas. Don't you know it's Christmas? And we're like, it's really not, but okay. Um, how do you deny a season? Right? Really? That's, that's really, but you know, you got people that are, you know, so pissed off at Starbucks because their cup is just red. <gasps> oh, like, come on, come off it. Anyhow, there's bigger things to be upset about. But here on the island, there are so many witches. There are so many pagans. There are so many people that um, just totally believe um, that somebody has the right. What are you? Wow, what are you wearing? Happy little, Yule. Your pointy hat. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, right, babe? They're just so open. Everybody's just so super open to... Yule, Yuleness, Christmas. I don't take offense if somebody says Merry Christmas to me because I'm just so thrilled that somebody bothered to share something joyful. You know, that there was something joyful being said in my direction. I'll take it all day long. Absolutely. I know what Christmas really is. It's Yule. <laughs> I'll say Happy Yule and they'll pause just briefly and they'll get this big smirk or grin or joyful feeling and they'll go, Happy Yule. Happy Yule! Yeah, yeah, Yule, you too. I mean, that's how it's just been great. It's just been great. Um, for those of you, <laughs> Katie, for those of you that feel that this time is just like so oppressive, and or maybe you don't have the family to share it with, there are friends. You, I mean, there are people out there that you know are craving attention and time. Um, from others, you know, start a game night, you know, start with that, something small, maybe it's a movie night, or you want to share your show, maybe you've got cable, and somebody else doesn't, and you just want to have some snacks, and, you know, you just sort of, you know, bring the... this cat, do you really want to be on camera, you are cracking me up right now, Missy, okay, you come down over here, come on, come on down over here, sorry, kitty butt in your face um anyhow i mean start with something small i mean maybe they just need attention and time just like you need attention and time and maybe you're sharing in um in a show that they want to watch or maybe they don't know about but maybe it's a similar interest and you can you know put on a pot of soup and have them bring biscuits or cornbread or something like that you know start um start a small group uh, for gaming, if you wish, or maybe a book club or something, something that is awesome that you feel is awesome. Maybe it's an herbal healing group. You want to share some knowledge. Maybe it's a gardening group or whatever. Um, there's different ways to share in the season and all seasons, not just this one, but, um, people need people. Um, you can't be a recluse in your house 24 7 uh you're gonna go crazy um and it's really nice and it's really rewarding it's really refreshing it's really renewing to share your belief system with others and have it be reciprocated it just is wonderful it's a wonderful thing and i feel that people are more open um this time of year to love to new beginnings because the new year is right around the corner um People are more open to receive love and people are more open to give love this time of year. Um, it's just an amazing time of year. And that I truly feel is the magic of the season. It just is magical to me. And, you know, I like to do the work of all of the Christmas cards. I feel that it's a dying art. People don't write each other anymore handwritten letters or cards they want to send an email thing and there's it's wonderful that they do that because it's the thought that counts but I try to keep some of the old things going just because it's important to me and I know that it brightens somebody's day when they receive it on the other end I just you know like to do that um you know there's the other traditions that I think I shared with the food uh you know special food items you know it's soon it's going to be all about soups I have a crock pot around here somewhere in one of these damn boxes. I'm going to find it and the soup's going to be on. I'm telling you. 
Um, I've got my loaded potato soup, which if you look back and you just search my channel, some recipes, there's a loaded potato soup in there. It is not vegetarian and is not vegan friendly. Although Noah says that he loves that soup so much, he's going to change it up. So, um, come together with food. Come together with thought. Come together with heart. Um, it's a wonderful time of the year and uh, you can share it with who you want to share it with. Family, I'll tell you, family is wonderful when they're not mean. If you have family that is abusive, when you have family that um, puts you down and gets you in a way that is just in not a healthy place, I strongly suggest, and I have had to do this with you know, certain members of my family, to love them from a distance. Love them from a distance. It doesn't mean that you need to celebrate with them if they're not like-minded. Um, try to meet on neutral ground. Do neutral things if it's important to you that they, you guys are together. Um, if not, sometimes it's okay to walk away and create the family that fills you up, that gives you that joy, that gives you that love. Create that universe for yourself. You know what I mean? Okay, with that, I've blathered on for a good 21 minutes now, and um, Bear's got a tasty um, goulash. We're eating goulash tonight. So I'm going to pour myself a tasty wine and get going on these cards and get going on um, some tasty dinner. So I love and leave you. Many blessings. Go spread some holiday magic. Go forth and do it. Talk to you guys later.